Hello and welcome to another Paramix Discovery version 21 tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be looking at exporting model links as a shapefile and an example of how this can be used to produce graphics for reports or presentations. Here I have a model of Glasgow City Centre in version 21. I'm in the Edit Network tab and if I go to Edit Network, Export and Links, I can select a location for my exported file and I can choose to save it as a shapefile. So if I select Esri shapefile from the drop down menu and type in a file name in the box, I'm going to call this Glasgow Links. I'm going to next hit save, which will carry out the exporting. And I'm going to use this shapefile in QGIS. Now, the principles I show here will be the same for any GIS package. So in Windows Explorer, I'm going to navigate to my shapefile that I've exported from my Paramix Discovery 21 model and drag it into QGIS. And here I can see the links displayed in my GIS window. In addition to the shapes associated with the link, I can also look at the attribute table which shows me all of the other information associated with each link that has been exported from the model. Every attribute has been exported and I can use this later to produce different types of graphics. So when I exported my shapefile, it has come with the referencing which means that when I import some mapping into my QGIS, I've got some open street map data here. What I can see is the links match up with the mapping. I'm just going to change the color of the links so it's a bit clearer. I'm going to make them black and I'm going to make the lines a bit thicker. And once you've done that, you can see that I've easily and quickly created a graphic or the starting point for a graphic that I could use in a report. So in addition to that, I may want to produce a graphic showing my link hierarchy. So in my model here, I've shown my major and minor links. And I can do that also in QGIS using the shapefile. So what I'm doing here is I'm just duplicating the layer that I've created showing my links. And I'm going to create two separate layers one showing my major links and one showing my minor links. So if I go to the layer I've called major and filter it, I can, in this case, I'm going to filter it by class. So I'm going to have this layer represent major links. So I'm doing if class equals major. And what you can see now is that I only have my major links selected. I'm going to go to the other layer called minor and do the same thing, but this time selecting only minor links. You'll notice that I have all the other attributes to choose from here as well, so I could also filter by speed limits or something to produce a different graphic. And I'm just going to change the color of these links. So I'm going to change major to red, and I'm going to change the minor links to be blue. And now I have produced an image that represents the link hierarchy. And I can again use that and export it to create a graphic for a report or a presentation. Hopefully that gives you a taste of a new feature in Paramix Discovery version 21. Thank you very much.